Today, we'll be taking a look at the 8x14 Ludwig Standard Maple Snare Drum. But before that, if you haven't already, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel for more drum related content. Okay, so this is the Ludwig Standard. It's a budget oriented snare drum that Ludwig had introduced around 2017. Not to get confused with the Ludwig Standard from the late 60s and the early 70s, I had bought mine around the end of 2017 for about $300. You may even be able to find it cheaper nowadays. The snare comes out of the box with 2.3mm triple flange tubes, top and bottom, P88 AC throw off, standard butt plate, sharp 45 degree bearing edges, silver keystone badge, and lastly, it's constructed of five plies of North American maple, assembled here in the good old US of A. The standard comes in a variety of different finishes, but this one in particular comes in a finish called Aged Ebony Stain. But in my opinion, I feel like it's more of a synthetic kind of wrap, kind of like how the Ludwig New Sonic drums have. My drum originally shipped with stock Ludwig heads and wires, but I have since replaced all of those parts with pure sound snare wires and Evans drum heads. I recommend that you do the same if you're looking to pick up the snare drum for yourself. The standard comes in two depths. It comes in an eight inch depth shown here, as well as a six and a half inch depth. Although this is a deep drum, it's surprisingly versatile and it has a very wide tuning range. So in the sound demo, I've prepared six different tunings for you to listen to. Lastly, there's no effects on the overheads, but there's a little bit of EQ and compression on the kick drum. All the mics and recording gear are listed down in the description.
What's crazy is that the tuning range is so wide just with a single ply head. Start putting different heads on this drum and you'll get different sound colors to work with. I do have a video of me somewhere using this as a floor tom slash auxiliary snare drum, which the standard does a really good job at doing. I'll link that down below. If you're in the market for a new snare drum and you don't really feel like spending a ton of money, or if you're trying to add something different to your collection, this would be a great option to consider. Let me know what tuning you like the most, what tuning you didn't like the most, what's your favorite snare drum? Leave it all down in the comments. Make sure that you click the like button and subscribe for more drum related content. Thanks for watching.